Well, hello, farming friends, and welcome back to another edition of Farming Simulator 2015 with me, Mr. Moose. Hey, we're here on our uh, Buren home map, and as you can see, we got a beautiful wheat field in front of us that needs to be harvested. And I thought, you know what? This is a great opportunity for us to continue on our uh, little tutorials on course play. Because today we can cover combine mode, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to harvest this field uh, using a combine and two tractors with some tippers that are located over here. And uh, that way we can show you how to do that. So we're going to show you how to set it up and get it going. And then we'll show you how to add a second tractor into the mix so that you can uh, continue to harvest without having to wait for your tractor to get back from the silo very nice feature so we'll run over here jump into our tractor and we'll get going for you guys so let's go ahead and bring up course play and we're gonna be recording a course I'm gonna jump in here real quick I have a pre-existing one from when I done this field before I'm gonna delete it so we can record over it so we're gonna record a course and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start right here and because we're in between two fields uh, I'm gonna use one course to cover both fields Yes, that's uh, called maximizing. And what we'll do is we'll just record a course that uh, basically the course is this. Your little tractor is going to go unload the combine. And when he's done and he's full, he's going to come to this course to lead him to the farm to dump all of our grain in the silo. So we are recording this course. We want it to start somewhere where he can get to it easily without running into any of uh, obstacles on the way to it. Because remember, he's going to V-line to it. He's going to go straight to it wherever he is. If he's back there behind that building, he might hit that building. So let's back up just a little bit. <clears throat> we'll start recording right here. So let's go ahead and start recording course. And we don't need this while we're recording unless we make a mistake. So I'm just going to minimize that out of the screen. It allows me to be able to use my camera at the same time. Now we'll just pull forward and we're going to head back to the farm and we'll just keep in mind that we want to stay to the right because we're going to have two tractors using this path and if for some reason uh, they have to pass each other along the way we want to make sure that the uh, that they won't run into each other So we'll head on down the road here. We'll make a left, headed back to our farm. And we'll head on that way. I'm using this uh, new Dutes Far tractor that I found called the Taurus. Came out a couple of days ago. And uh, pretty cool little tractor. I'm liking it. It's got a neat little sound to it. Alright, follow our course here, stay down the right hand side of the road. Always come over this hump a little cautiously because if you fly over it too much you'll end up uh, jumping the into a tree sometimes. Alright, I'm going to cut that corner a little tight because on the way out it might get hit by another tractor running that area. And we're going to come around the corner here. And we're just going to drive over our uh, tipping point. And that way course play will know this is where it wants to unload. Now, if you really want to be a little bit advanced on this, you could go ahead and uh, run around the front side of our uh, storage shed there and hit the tipping points for the potatoes and the beets uh, in case you wanted to uh, use those. Now, particularly for this setup, I know I only use those fields to do grains, so I would in game only go over this one tipping point uh, because I'm only gonna use it for grain. Now, if uh, the field over next to us uh, that I do potatoes in, uh, that might be a different story because I do a variety of fruit in that particular field but I always do my potatoes in it because it is so close uh, one to the seed refill and two to the uh, to the bin so but just keep that in mind because what happens is 
um, you know, the trigger point knows what's in your trailer and it will only dump what it can take. So if you had a bin full of potatoes in here and you drove over the grain, it's not going to tip because it can't take potatoes there. Then when you get around to the front and you hit the trigger point for beets, it's not going to take it there. It's going to take it where the potatoes are. And so you can set one course to hit all the tipping points and, uh, and cover your bases. The only thing you need to do is make sure, like I said, uh, you stay away con from conveyor belts uh, on your route. If you could have an empty trailer when you come back around it, you don't want to go underneath the conveyor belt because the conveyor belt will put a couple of potatoes in there or put a couple of uh, um, beets in there or wood chips and then suddenly your trailer's useless until you unload it again. All right, so we're going to head back up to our field. Stay to the right, uh, again, so you're avoiding any conflict with any other vehicles that might be coming out of another field or, uh, or even one of the ones coming from the field that we're using right now. And again, it all depends on how you play the game. Me, I like to do a lot of animation uh, or automation when I get up to... A larger status once I get three or four combine or a couple of combines three combines I've got plenty of tractors and tippers uh, I'll run uh, three at a time you know and just to uh, maximize my harvest yeah I may have two overs low two overloaders run in with a couple of semis and then I may have a field with two tractors and two tippers you know it just I never know Alright, so we're going to run this guy over here, and our parking point is going to be right behind this other trailer. We'll just bring it in here, and uh, this is where we're going to park, and this is where our tractor would wait out of the way. Make sure he's out of the road. Yep. He's going to wait right here until he is ready to go. So our course is recorded, and now we just need to save it, and we'll save it as unload to silo. And we're going to name this field 34-39. And that just lets me know that I could use this course for either one of those fields. Alright, now that we have our field recorded and it shows up that it's loaded in for us to use, uh, we need to select the proper work mode, which is combine mode. And I work, usually when I'm setting up, I go from right to left because this is the final step here. I go ahead and make sure I activate four-wheel drive. I want to go into my settings. Everything looks good there. I can go ahead and show the whole course for you guys so uh, we can keep track of it. I want to set my speed up. Now I want to make sure I don't exceed 20 miles an hour because I want my guys to stay under control and not wreck while uh, they're doing their thing. So I'm going to bring that speed down to 20 miles an hour. And again, I do that by clicking speed first to show maximum speed set my maximum speed at 20 miles an hour and then I go back to from recording it'll do my recorded speed up to 20 miles an hour for me field speed let's crank that up we want to move in the speed in the fields at about 18 and our turns and unloads are about right alright for combine we need to go ahead and set up our combine now unless you're running multiple combines in a field you pretty much want to set this manually but in automatic mode if, for instance, I was harvesting a really nice big field and I could put two or three combines in it, if I was doing that, I want to set to automatic. But I would also have my, my tractor stop in the field. Instead of stopping right here, I would have my course stop somewhere over here in the field because he needs to be in that field in order to pick up automatically the combines that are in it. So what I would do is I'd have him, you know, I'd have him come way out to the middle of the field somewhere like this on a really big field. And that way he can look around and find the combines and find the one that's fullest that he needs to go and empty. But for this purpose, we're just going to do manual mode and uh, we'll set ourselves up uh, to harvest this way. We're going to let our combine go back and forth between our two tractors. So we'll... Uh, We'll set ourselves up. I'm going to come back to our course here. And I'll set ourselves 
to manual mode and I'll select my new Holland tractor settings everything's fine as far as the width and everything else like that start at point I want it to go at 50 percent and I want it to drive to the grain silo when it reaches at least 90 percent full and that's good we've got our course loaded all we have to do now is say drive course and it will do that and it will go sit here at the stop sign until the combine tells him to come over so at this point we need to go set up our combine and then we'll go set our second tractor up so our combine is here I already have a course loaded I'm gonna go ahead and set it to drive course and it'll start doing its thing the only thing I want to do when I set up this and this is a preference thing when you're doing combine mode with your tractors if you come into the combine controls driver priority you can either set it to distance or fill level fill level it will use the same tractor until that tractor reaches a hundred percent and then it'll send it to the silo and it'll call the next tractor distance it'll call whatever tractor is closest to it me I like to use fill level I like for it to use the same tractor send it on its way and then call the next tractor up so that's the way we're gonna run this uh, if you use it for distance sometimes it'll get one like if when it's running a headland it'll get one tractor up here on the top of the course then it'll get another one down on the back end of the field and then when it starts doing its uh, you know crossing patterns it'll only have one tractor close to it it'll use that same tractor over and meanwhile the other tractor is just sitting there half full of grain so uh, that's the reason I like to use fill level it'll use the same tractors over and over now so our other guy is sitting up there he's doing his thing he's just waiting for this guy to hit 50 percent and when it does hit 50 percent it's gonna call him over and uh, he'll pull up and unload this tra uh, unload this combine so we're 50 percent you see it just triggered the Taurus runner and it called him over and he's gonna head this way Now the thing about um, course play, the new course play will always try to call the combine tractor when this pipe will pull out into an open area. Uh, it does not. It's set up to pull the uh, the combine trailer as long as it has open space, and if it doesn't, it tries to wait to hold it off until it does have open space or it reaches. A critical level like 90% so that's the reason on my tractors when I set them up I set them up to 50% roll roll at 50% and that way it gives the combine an opportunity to either call them at 50% or if the pipe is out in the fruit at 50% it gives them time to wait and maybe call them when it gets into an open area around 70 or 80 percent if you set your call number really high like 80 percent you're going to end up getting called and your tractor is going to drive through the fruit a lot so i just prefer to set it up that way you can do it however you want if it doesn't bother you about uh the the fruit you can set it for 90 percent it won't come until the combine's almost completely full so that tractor's doing its thing and uh, when the combine is empty, it's just going to pull around back and stop. It's uh, just going to veer off. It'll pull back into this lane of, uh, of clean field. And it will hold up until the combine calls it again. And let's see, that's going to put about 50% in our transporter. All right, so he stops there. And he'll wait until the combine's ready to fill, uh, unload again when he gets to 50%. While that's happening, we're going to go ahead and set up our second tractor, uh, which is sitting here, which is in purple. I wanted to do some different colors on this tractor when I got out. I thought, man, that's going to be a that's going to be a hideous color. I've got to do it. 
but it is cool that uh, now you have a dutes far you can pick any color you want all right so jump into course play again I'm going to set it up I'm going to activate the four-wheel drive I'm going to go and I'm going to uh, show my starting end points so we can see them going to change my speed again I'm going to crank that down to 20 miles an hour and I'm going to crank up my field speed to 18 all right uh, let's see I need to uh, I need to go back into combine mode I need to select my course that we're going to run which is going to be the unload silo 3439 there we go and I need to select my combine, which is going to be our new Holland. All my settings here are fine, 50%. And we're good to run this course. So let's just pull over here. So he's underneath the return. And when I hit drive course, he'll pick up the course. He's going to drive to that stopping point. And now he'll wait until the combine calls him. But that'll be when the orange tractor uh, finishes its unloading duties and um, and heads off to the silo. So let's jump back into our silo uh, or into our combine. It's at 50%, so it should call the orange tractor to head on over. called for it. Let's see why it's not rolling. There it goes. And it just drives all over your wheat. It would be great if that was fixed in the game, but it is a game, right? It can't be completely real. So this guy's going to go over here, and uh, by the time he gets to the combine and gets underneath him, combine's probably going to have enough to uh, to get us to a level that's just about right. To fill it up to 100%, and then this guy will go get the next course and head on down to the silo. So he's going to fill up. And I could have forced it to drive by saying drive now, but I want to go ahead and let it fill all the way up so you can see this thing and how it really can work. And we'll probably have a little collision issue right here. All right, it's going to finish on and I am going to go ahead and send it on its way just so we don't have a collision when this combine goes to move to the other end of the field. I'm going to send the driver on now. All right, so he's been sent on, and the combine's going to hit the building here, so I'm going to have to attend to it real quick. All right, so as you can see, our tractor is headed on over. He's picking up the other course. Yeah, I have to dance around with the combine for a second. But he's picking up his course, and as soon as he does, he will be on his way to the silo. And I'm going to restart this guy on his path that he needs to be on. And then we'll go follow that tractor on its route. 
So now that I got this guy back to where he needs to be, this was probably a bad field to do this on, but it, it'll work. All right, so he's back to doing his combine duties. And when he fills up to 50%, he'll call the purple trailer. And we're gonna jump into the orange one and just follow it. And you'll see it's driving its course. Heading on down to the field. And sometimes you don't need to do two tractors in combine mode. You can do it with one. But if you're traveling, like if your tractor's got to drive a long distance uh, from the field back to the silo, it's good to use two tractors. Look at that. This thing's got beacons on the fenders, beacons in the front, beacons on the top. Fancy little mod. Beacons on the mud flaps. Our combine's at 32% right now, and we're about almost to the uh, to the silo. As you can see, uh, as I tell you that the combine's at 40% full. This guy wouldn't get back to him in time to uh, to dump him. So that's the reason we've got oh got a little wrapped up and out of place. Little took that turn just a little too fast. Again, that's the reason I dragged my speeds down. Shouldn't have really had an issue there, but maybe I need to turn that down a little bit more. All right, so he's going to hit here, and he's going to dump as soon as he hits the trigger. All right, and while he's doing that, we're going to go over here to our purple tractor, who is sitting in standby, and as soon as our combine gets up here and turns into the clear, he's going to call him. Now, see, he is the combine is currently at 50%. He's 63%, but because the pipe would open up into the field, it's not calling the tractor just yet. But as soon as he gets to the end of the field and makes his turn, He'll call the uh, for the tractor to come unload him. So if you have a situation where you see the combine gets to the trigger point, you're like, oh, well, he didn't call my tractor. It's because he's waiting to get in the clear. Now, that only works if you're using course play. If you're using a hireable or something, it's going to act a little bit different. So see, he's up to 82%. He's starting to get to a critical level. But we're going to go ahead and make it to the end of the field. He'll make his turn. And then he'll call the tractor to come unload him. Go ahead and look. I can hear the tractor coming. He's called it over. Our purple tracker is going to come up and get filled up. That's simple. Meanwhile, our orange tractor is unloaded and he is headed back up the way. So when this guy gets back up to the fields, he'll get to the stopping point and he'll sit and wait until it's his turn to go back and unload the, the uh, combine again. And they'll just flip flop back and forth and uh, take care of everything. So that's it. That's the basics of doing combine mode and unloading a combine. Now there's a lot more you can do with it. We can do potatoes as well. So uh, give me one second. We'll set that up and I'll show you how to unload a potato harvester while these guys continue to do their thing. All right, guys. Well, here we are on our potato field. And as you can see, I've got my potato harvester running up there. And we're going to use course play to unload it. So we're going to go ahead real quick. And we need to first thing we do is uh, we need to record a course for dumping off our potatoes. So we're just going to start right here on this end of the field. Give ourselves a route to uh, 
take our potatoes up to the harvest or up to the uh, silo here or storage shelter and I'll just pull around here to the front and I want to pull in so that I hit the triggers and you know I know that the uh, wood chips are right here I want to get in kind of close because I do know the trigger points are uh, really tight on these and it helps to go ahead and figure out where your trigger points are ahead of time but I just need to get in here pretty tight and then just pull around and again course play is going to sense where those triggers are and it's going to unload the tipper as soon as it hits it and that's all I got to do to get that course set up I can bring it back over here I can bring my uh, my tractor back to a waiting area right here to stop and I can start my course and at this point I'm good to go and now I just have to set up for the harvest so again I just go four-wheel drive settings I don't have to worry about my speed is good uh, I don't really have to worry about it in this situation but we'll go ahead and crank it down to 20 miles an hour because we're not going to be traveling that far and uh, let's see we need to set up our combine we're going to pick our uh, Grim Tretron easy for you to say uh, the 1415 or 415 I've got it set uh, I already have my auto side offsets and um, so course is loaded all we got to do is say drive course and as soon as our potato harvester hits 50% our guy will go unload it and so we'll just wait see what happens with it probably gonna get a little potato here dropped on us because we are sitting pretty close to the field but maybe not might have been a bad spot to leave it if it gets right here and wants it it might turn into the potato cedar we got sitting over there which would be just my luck for making a movie but eh it is what it is so yeah 50 percent he's gonna spin around try and get behind the harvester and by doing so he's gonna run into a tree it happens folks it happens it'll take time to figure out right where you want your courses to be and how you want to set everything up and especially you have to massage them a little bit right at the very first of the harvest because uh, you can't think of everything and I have to be honest it's been quite a while since I played this particular field and uh, I don't quite remember all the little hiccups I had with it as far as what buildings it would run into and trees it would run into all right so he's gonna run over here and again course play has set our offset to negative six uh, to bring us down the right side because all that is pre-programmed he's just gonna drive underneath our potato harvester and grab the potatoes And for demonstration purposes, as soon as he has gotten all the potatoes out, I'm going to hit drive now. And that will tell him to drive the course, not to run into the uh, combine. Drive course, and he is going to go ahead and run back up to the top of the field. He'll pick up the course, and he'll take that over and dump the potatoes underneath our shed there. All right, he finds the course, does a little power slide. Now he's going to head on up. You see our little Taurus dumping off some grain. And we'll 
pull back around here. I'll get a little thing probably that tells me it's not beets. Potatoes not accepted here. But it will accept right here at this next trigger point. There we go. And it's going to dump our potatoes out. And we're good to go. It will now take its empty trailer right back to our waiting point. And as soon as our harvest hits 50%, it will go unloaded again. So there you go, guys. A couple of examples of how to use combine mode inside of course play and how to set that up. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial uh, and found it a little bit helpful. If you have any questions, please leave comments in the video. I'll be happy to get back and answer you. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give me a likes up and as always subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos. I'm Mr. Moose. I thank you for watching and remember I do put new videos up every day. So come on back for more Farming Sim 2015 videos. Until next time, as always, stay safe. Have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hey, thanks again for watching this video, and if you made it all the way to the end, well, maybe you liked it. So give me a big old thumbs up. That like goes a long way. Also, subscribe to this channel. I will update the videos every single day, so there will always be something new for you to see. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll come back again tomorrow. Thanks for your support.